happened? You all look so different today. Uh, Mrs. Jules, we're over here. You asked us to bring in our favorite pet today. You put them in our seats so they could all get to know each other. <laughs> Enough of the fun! Oh, yes, of course. Now I remember. I see so many nice pets. A dog, a frog, a skunk, a goat, a snake, a duck, a sheep, a turtle, a porcupine, a chicken, and two little monkeys. Oh, and what's this over here? Oh, that's my baby brother. His name's Fido, but don't worry, he won't bite. Oh, what a lovely lizard. That's my pet, Orange. His name is Red. I keep him in a cage so he won't escape. Coochie, coochie, coo! That's very responsible. <laughs> and don't look now, but that monkey is eyeing Red. <laughs> Mrs. Jewel, that's Todd. Hmm. Todd, where's your pet? I don't have a pet, Mrs. Jules. What? You don't? No, no pet. pet? Well, actually, I, I used to have a pet. His name was King Arthur. Was he a gorilla? <laughs> no. A calculator? No. A baby brother? Ah! Ah! He was a goldfish. Oh, oh a goldfish. goldfish. Great. So what happened to him? Well, my friend. I've always blamed myself for not taking better care of King Arthur. After that, well, I never felt right about taking care of another pet. Really? Well, a pet is a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And to teach you about that responsibility, Todd, why don't I take the entire class out for a fun time on the playground while you stay here and watch all our pets? Yay! What? But, Mrs. Jules, I, I, I couldn't take care of one little fish without it dying on me. How am I going to take care of all these animals? Oh, you'll be fine. See ya. I don't think that's very responsible of you. You, 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 you. Okay, now, we're all going to relax. No sudden movements. Hey, is it cold in here? I think it's cold in here. No problem. I'll fix it. See? It's okay. I'm just being responsible. Closing the window. Nice and warm. Uh, uh, heel! Uh, stay! stay. Uh, no! Okay. I can do this. I am responsible. I am Tom! <laughs> so, what makes you think you're wayside material? Right all along, I really can't take care of a pet. I'm not responsible enough. Those poor, helpless creatures. What if they end up just like King Arthur? Todd, it is me. Don't give up. King Arthur? Todd, I have come to tell you that my death was not your fault. It wasn't? No. You always took good care of me. Some fish just don't last very long. Tell me about it. But, King Arthur, what should I do? Mrs. Jules put me in charge of taking care of everyone's pets, and I have failed them. Todd, animals and people are not that different. We all rely on our herds, our flocks, our schools of fish. Of course, schools of fish 
or schools of kids. I don't have to do this alone. I, I can get help from my friends. Great idea, King Arthur. Thanks. <laughs> I am taught! Don't worry, little guys. I'm being responsible. Myron! Over here! Oh, hello, Talking Fountain. So very nice to meet you. I'm not a Talking Fountain. I'm Todd. A Talking Fountain named Todd? What a coincidence. There's a kid in our class named Todd, but he's not here right now. He's watching all of our pets. Dana, Mauricia, help. And then all the animals escaped, and I need your help to recapture them. Wait a minute. Can you go back to the part with the flying goldfish? Don't worry, Todd. We can help. I hope Fido's okay. <laughs> okay. All we have to do is follow the simple, color-coded, multi-level PRC I just threw together. PRC? It stands for Pet Recovery Chart. We'll use the PRC to ID the TVD ASAP FYI. a okay <laughs> Enough with the acronyms! Anyway, the chart is organized by species group. I'm handling mammals. Todd gets reptiles and amphibians, Mauricia, flying animals, and Myron, track down all the fruit pets. And I shall. Oh, what a thrill to cross the deepest, darkest jungle, hunting that most dangerous and elusive of all nature's man-eaters. Actually, it's an orange, and it doesn't eat people. Maybe it doesn't eat you, but I'll be darned if it's gonna eat me. Now, I must think like my prey. Come on, let's catch us some pets. I'm just getting better at this. Nice work, Todd! The pets all seem so happy and well cared for and very well exercised. Did it help you learn anything about responsibility? I learned that a big part... Ah! My pet orange! He's all weird! <laughs> That's no orange. That's a banana! Uh. Not only that, but there's a big bite taken out of it. Uh. What? Don't look at me. You were in charge of fruit pets. Banana orange, what's the difference? Besides, it's not like I ate the whole thing. Todd, where's Steven's pet? Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. I'll find him. I'm responsible. Oh, I saw it in Mrs. Mush's kitchen. But don't worry, it was safe right next to the juicer. No! Oh, Todd, you just in time. I make fresh juice. No, that poor orange. Huh? Orange? I see funny round thing here next to Squisher, but I don't know what to do with him. Then what did you make the juice out of? Oh, I make basketball juice, doorknob juice, and this... I call Crunchy Couch Smoothie. Squisher, he not happy about that one. Do you mind if I take this? Sure, it no good to me. It's just like fish I buy. He useless too. You take? Hey, 
everybody, meet my new pet fish. I call him King Arthur the Second. Yay! Oh, he's so cute! Isn't it fun to have a great pet? Yes, it is. But it's even better to have great friends. Tell me about it. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Strange little people. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, yeah, yeah. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, yeah, yeah. Lewis! Lewis! You've got to help me! Sure thing, Mr. K. What you need? Have you noticed all these strange little people? The students? Let's not get technical here, Lewis. They're everywhere! <laughs> these little people are hiding something. Look, they keep giving me these strange, horrible looks. Mr. K, those are called smiles. Ha! Ah. I didn't get to where I am by letting weird little people just smile at me. I know they want to take me down, but I'm ready for them. If they're planning to come after this top dog, they better be ready to scratch some fleas. Ow! Thank you, Lewis. Hey, Dana, what's up with everyone today? Oh, we're just hiding something from Mr. Kid's water. What? No, don't, don't do that, little dudes. But it's a birthday card, and there's a big surprise party for him at the gym later. It's going to be the best day of the whole school year for him. This is the worst day of the whole school year for me. Of all the times to rise up and overthrow me, they have to do it on my birthday. But I'm not beaten yet. I can still defeat them. I need information. I need someone on the inside. A spy. But who? Todd, please line up to sign Mr. Kidswater's birthday card. Hey, why didn't anyone tell me it was Principal Kidswater's birthday? I would have loved to help with the card or maybe even plan some kind of party. Already taken care of, Todd. But you can sign the card if you want. Um, maybe later. Although I am sort of new here, I don't even think Kid Swatter knows my name yet. He still calls me by my address. 344 South Fairview. <laughs> what? Principal Kidswater is a brilliant man. He'd never do that. Attention, students, attention. Will 344 South Fairview please report to the principal's office? Wait, not the principal's office. I mean the third floor landing. Shh! And keep quiet about it. Thank you. Todd, didn't you hear the principal? Shh! Mr. Kidswater? It's me, 344. I'm in disguise. You are? But shouldn't a disguise involve some sort of fake mustache or wig? A wig? Good idea. I see you have some experience in this kind of work. What kind of work? Spy work, 344. Real top secret, hush hush, nudge nudge, undercover stuff. I need you to find out what these little people are up to. They're planning something, but I'm gonna be ready for them. And that's where you come in, 344. Or should I say, Agent 344? No, 344 is fine. I, I mean, my name is Todd. Exactly. Todd will be your secret code name, Agent 344. But it's my real name. Right, I get it. Wink, wink. 
Now, Todd, I can trust you because you're new here at Wayside. You haven't been here long enough to really fit in. I haven't? But I have lots of friends at Wayside. Oh, don't kid yourself. Why, some people around here don't even know what your name is, 344. <laughs> Todd. Yes, and in your role as Todd, you'll tell me everything you can about this so-called surprise they're planning, so I can surprise them! <laughs> now, I must slink into the shadows. Stupid shadows. Can't see a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Balloons. We've got the confetti. And since Principal Kids Water is so sweet, I'm making a statue of him out of chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. You guys look busy. Can I help? No. Oh, are you sure? Maybe you could use an extra hand? Nope. Uh, I could always decorate. Done. Ooh, what about the streamers? Finished. But thanks anyway. Really? This is my first surprise party here. I'd really like to help. You know, be included. Be part of the team. If you really, really, really want to help, I have the most super duper, incredibly important, fabulous, fantastic job for you. Awesome. I'll do it. OK, hold this. And then? That's it. Just hold the binder. I thought you said this was important. It is important. That binder contains all our party plans. See ya. Hmm. I guess I was just out of the room at the wrong time, you know, when all of the good jobs were assigned. And I'm new here, so I didn't know about the birthday. But I'm still part of the gang, right? to the principal's office. Now! Ah, thanks for the tip on the disguise, Agent 344. I mean, Todd. No one will know I'm the principal now. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought about what you said, Mr. Kidswatter, and maybe you're right. The kids kind of left me out. Maybe I don't really fit in here. Welcome to the Club 344. You're a lone wolf just like me, and lone wolves like us need to stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Yeah, but then we wouldn't be lone wolves anymore. <gasps> What's that? Information? Oh, this is just... Party plans. You've got to help me. Look at these attack schemes. Oh, party plans. Wow, some crazy tunes. To brainwash me with. Some balloons and ribbons. To tie me up with. Is that a cake? To poison me. The savages. They really went all out. I know. This place isn't safe. We need to hunker down. Someplace secure. Is the gym available? Hey, where are the lights? Ow! Stupid shadows. What's that? Who's there? Hit the lights, Myron. No, not that one. Oops, sorry. What do you want? You should know! You'll never take me alive! Surprise! Happy birthday! Hit him, hooray! Hideous expressions! They're called smiles, Mr. K. Remember? Enough with the forehead biting! Here, Todd. You hold it. Forehead biting? They are savages! I have only one ally in this whole school. Todd, where are you? Right here, Mr. Kidswater. Ah, 
Agent 344? With my head? I was wrong about you. You are one of them. I am? Yeah, of course you are, Todd. Why would you think otherwise? Alas, I am the only true lone wolf. Just a few more flights of stairs. Todd, thank you so much for helping us carry our principal up to the nurse's office. Stupid Guzak. You know, we couldn't have done this without you, Todd. Really? You mean that? <clears throat> of course, we're all part of one big family I call... Oh, uh, Mrs. Jules' class? <clears throat> Whose? Oh, I mean, yes, her class. <clears throat> Thank you, that's very sweet, Mrs. Jules. I should have never doubted it. I'm stuffed. Who wants to eat Mr. Kid Swatter's ear? Savages! 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 <clears throat> Stop.